For more than a century, IBEW Local 1 in St. Louis has been training some of the most highly skilled electrical workers in the nation. They are the master electricians who built the monumental Gateway Arch and constructed two major league stadiums for the legendary St. Louis Cardinals. They built projects as big as this massive football arena, as vital to the community as this sprawling hospital complex, and as close to home as neighborhood fast food restaurants. Local 1 was organized in 1891. We did build this city. But now, Local One electricians are facing a challenge, not just from their non-union competition, but from inside the building trades. The St. Louis Carpenters Council has formed a rival electrical workers union, Local 57, aimed at undercutting the cost of electrical work and stealing IBEW jobs. It takes away from what we really ought to be doing, and, and that's working together and proving to customers that union construction, not just the IBW, but union construction as a whole, should be a customer's first choice. The rival union is already taking work in Missouri, like construction on this civic building in the St. Louis suburbs. I want to be able to, you know, provide for my family. For Julie Parker, a mother of two and a third year IBEW apprentice, the competition couldn't come at a worse time. They're taking over, trying to take over our jobs, and, you know, that right now the economy is not that well, and so we're not going to, you know, there's not as many jobs out there. Their long range plan is to not to destroy the building trades, but to reform the building trades to their satisfaction and to the way they think it should be. And I think it's wrong. Former carpenters, now members of the IBEW, say it's more than wrong. They worry it could be dangerous. Fred Heitkamp spent his first 16 years in the building trades working as a union carpenter. He left the union 10 years ago because he says he feared for his safety and the safety of his co-workers. I did not learn one thing about electric as a carpenter. And I think it's dangerous that they're out there bringing in people that haven't been through the same training that I've been through. I can walk away from a job now and not be worried or concerned. But Chris Hepler says that wasn't the case when he worked for a contractor that's now part of the Carpenters Council. Well, before it was just get it to pass inspection, just make sure the lights come on, let's get out of there. We don't have time, to just stop trying to make it look nice, just get out of there. And here, it's making sure that in the future, there's not going to be any problem. Hepler is now an IBEW apprentice in his third year at the St. Louis Electrical Industry Training Center. Apprentices spend five years learning the ins and outs of the trade. I always tell everybody that when you leave an open shop and you become part of the IBEW, it's like getting called up from the miners and, and playing in the bigs, you know. This is, this is where it's at. Point of that holding contact. The training is thorough, complex, and intense. And veteran instructor Jim Carey always leaves his students with an important lesson. We make sure that our apprentices understand that people's lives and property depend on what you do. There is nothing reasonable, nothing reasonable about what's happening here in St. Louis. Fighting back against Local 57 started with this massive rally where union leaders from across the country joined together to send a powerful message to the carpenters. We do not and we will not tolerate efforts by them or any other union for that matter to steal work from other trades. The other trades today are, are as upset about all of this because they're next. The IBEW also launched an advertising blitz in major cities, including billboards and radio ads during Cardinals baseball games. So why hire a carpenter when you've got to have power? Put the best you've got in play. Local One is also using a podcast. The Carpenters uh, District Council has started an electrical union. And the website, www.local57facts.com, to spread a simple message. Carpenters should do carpenter work, electricians should do electrical work. Our productivity, coupled with our training, uh, our safety records are second to none. You always get what you pay for, and you get the bang for your buck when you hire the IBEW.